Here we have the zigzag cone drill. Don't know what else to call it. So you'll set up your car, your, your cones uh, spread evenly apart. You could say they're, these are five yards apart here, five yards back and forth would probably be good. You can even try three. You can mix it up and see how you feel because you got to be quicker at three yards and you're changing the directions because you don't have as much buildup. But let's say they're five yards apart. You could also say these cones are five yards apart. So this line, this cone, and this cone are only two and a half yards apart. Right, so you just space them out nice and evenly. You can play with it and see where you find the, the most comfort and, and you know, challenge yourself and, and do something different each time we do it. So there's two ways we'll do this. We'll do it side shuffling as well as sprinting. So if we're sprinting and backpedaling, uh, we can just go to the cone or you can go around the cone. So whichever you kind of choose, pick one, stick with it. Let's say we're gonna sprint uh, around the cones. So I'm gonna sprint here around the cone and then backpedal back around behind that cone, sprint here. The best thing, so you're gonna be facing in this direction, you'll be facing this way. Why am I drawing a flat, we're drawing an arrow. You're facing this way. So the best thing we can try to do is keep our eyes up just as like if you're a linebacker or a lineman, we've gotta adjust and change direction and react to somebody else. So you can have a, t a teammate or partner standing over here, giving you like a numbers on a hand to keep your head up while you're back on. You have to feel the cones out, feel where you're at. If we're doing a side shuffle, now we're gonna be facing this direction, starting here, you'll shuffle sideways, shuffle back. Shuffle sideways, shuffle back through the cones facing that direction. Uh, we don't have to do, obviously, a shuffle backwards, we won't do that, but those are your shuffles. Uh, you can obviously you know, play with the spacing of your cones to challenge you a little bit different each time you do it. 